everyone, everyone, everyone. Good, Kayla. Finish, D, yeah, C. It's obviously a tremendous honor. Um, I think that, you know, when you're, when you're not there, I don't know that it necessarily hits you as much as when you're standing there for the first game and they play the national anthem. Um, and you see the passion that other countries have when their national anthem is played and it really does kind of give you the chills and bring tears to your eyes because uh, there's never really a moment in your normal life where you think about it in that kind of, on that kind of stage, what you're doing, who you're representing and what it really means. So um, for, for me to have those feelings at the lower level of USA Basketball when I coach the younger teams, I can't imagine what it's going to feel like to be on the Olympic stage and uh, have that same source of pride and probably at a whole other level. I don't think people realize we're the, the most successful team sport in uh, women's Olympic history. We've won five consecutive gold medals. So we're going for number six and you have to be on top of your game. There's nothing that, you know, Gino Ariema wants nothing to be a surprise. So my job as one of the scouts is to make sure we're not going to be surprised. So that's, you know, a lot of uh, work goes into that. A lot of watching film, a lot of in, uh, in arena live scouting, uh, and then obviously putting together a great scouting report and helping um, the Olympic staff make sure that they feel prepared to present that scouting report to the team. Um, so for me, it's just, um, like I said, it's a different role, it's exciting, it's challenging. Uh, I'm around some of the greatest minds in women's basketball. Uh, you know, obviously I consider Gino to be the best coach in the game. Uh, it's fun to be around different people with their styles and how they like to prepare. And we talk a lot about game planning. How are we going to guard ball screens? How are we going to guard that screen? Are we going to switch it? What should we do defensively against this team? Should we press? Uh, and then offensively, we're always constantly adding wrinkles to all of the offenses to figure out what's going to work against different opponents. And um, it's exciting to have that level, um, you know, to, to be able to, in, in a short amount of time, evolve to that high level. Um, so when I come back and, you know, now it's about coaching my own team, people say, well, isn't it hard to adjust the level? And I said, no, it's my expectation is, yeah, it's going to be raised a little bit, but I think that's what the kids want. You know, they, these players at GW are expecting me to um, expect a lot of them and, and create a high standard and raise the ball really high and teach them what it means to be a champion. And to, be, and to be able to do it at a really, really high level. So it's not about you know, comparing the Olympians to the Colonials, but it is about how you do things in the process of being successful. And if I can take anything from this experience, it'll be understanding the process and the preparation it takes to go, going into being great and making it look that easy and try to carry that over to here when I come back.